Hey everyone, so it's like here in a YouTube video today. Uh, today's video is gonna be out of Baltimore. Um, before I get into this video, uh, this video is gonna be um, pretty disturbing. Um, so we give y'all a heads up on that. Um, this is gonna be about a Baltimore man who could get life sentence in prison after nine people dying heroin overdoses. Um, now before I get into all this, um, you know, these people know what they're buying. I get that. So for the people that are gonna say, oh, with well, people who are heroin addicts, they know what they're doing. They know what they're buying. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they know what they're buying. They know what they're doing. But at the same time, this man has no right to go and poison them or however he did it. He still has no right to do this. Even if they know what they're doing, he has no right to do what he's doing either. So this is about him, not the heroin addicts. Now, it says a 24-year-old could be sentenced to life in prison after pleading guilty to a heroin distribution conspiracy linked to 27 overdoses and like I said none of those were fatal so that I mean 27 overdoses nine fatal I mean this dude is I mean I don't even know why how people get into this you know whether you're brought up into it doing it or whether you just start off little and then you get off big or you know, however you do it. But, I mean, 27 overdoses and 9 fatal. I mean, obviously this man didn't know what he was doing. I use man um, loosely. Shouldn't even say that. Um, But, I mean... I mean, you killed 9 people. And like I said, you can argue that these people know what they were doing. They're going to die anyways. Okay, that doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with it. He still killed nine people. It don't matter if they knew what he was doing or not. That's like someone joining a gang saying, and then they get shot and killed by a rival gang member and say, oh, well, they know what they were getting into. No, it doesn't matter. They, I mean, the dude still shouldn't get shot and killed for no reason. But, you know, you make that decision to do what you do, and then, I mean, that's the consequences you face. I mean, that's... That's all, I mean, that's what you face during the consequences. And that's not all he did now. It says the police were doing a drug search, an undercover drug search and drug seizure, and they found 49 phones all containing drugs or containing these people that text him for drug overdoses, uh, people wanting to buy drugs, um, People that knew the people that were overdosed on heroin, um, people wanting to buy more drugs, um, so they found 49 phones worth of that. They found $400,000 in cash. Now this here is crazy. They seized 900 grams of heroin. 900 grams? And they also found heroin in his car. And they had scales, digital scales. Now, so, he's a drug dealer. I mean, he got 900 grams of heroin, heroin in the car, digital scales, $400,000 in cash, 49 phones, all containing drugs, or something about drugs. I mean, and you killed nine people and, you know, overdosed 27 people. I mean... Anybody who kills nine people should automatically be put up for the death penalty. I mean, this man knows what he was doing. He knows that he was buying the drugs. I mean, now whether he knew what he was doing to cause these overdoses was wrong or not, who knows. But, I mean, you're sitting here dealing drugs. So, I mean, like I said, the people who know what they're doing are going to you know, take that risk, and obviously he knows to take that there's going to be a risk, so yeah, he should definitely be charged with nine murder charges. I mean, he should have nine murder charges. Plus, you know, I would even go as far as 27 uh, 
attempted murder charges, plus, I mean, distribution charges, because, I mean, you got the scales, you got 900 grams of heroin, and heroin found in car, you got $400,000 of cash digital scales, I mean, so, I mean, he got plenty of charges, um, hopefully they got all the drugs off the street, um, Hopefully he will spend life in prison or get put up for the death penalty. Um, I want to give my shout out to his family members, um, to the family members of the nine people who died, um, to the family members of the 27 people who overdosed. Um, if anybody was watching this video and you know anybody on drugs or anything, um, please try to get them help. Um, you know, addiction is not something that you can just overcome in one day. Um, it definitely takes time to overcome addiction. Uh, it definitely needs family support. So, like I said, if anybody you know is struggling with addiction, um, please get them help. Um, support them. Stick with them. Help them with anything that they need. Um, you know, and for the nine people that died, I want to give a shout out to them. Um, you know, can't imagine what their family's going through either because they just lost um, family member, uh, brother, sister, possibly husband, son, wife, you know, aunt, uncle, grandparents, you know. Um, and I'll give my shout out to this guy as well for the people who are wondering why, you know. Like I said in my last video, um, it goes much farther than the victim. I mean, because the guy going to jail, he might not necessarily be a victim, but his family members are a victim. They're the victims, too. Because now they have to wonder, you know, why did he do this? You know, he could have asked us for help if it's his, you know, uh, mother or father or both. You know, they could be like, well, why didn't he just ask us for help? Why do you have to do this? Why was he doing this? Um, if he was a father, which, doing all these drugs and money, uh, I hope he wasn't, but if he was, you know, his son has to wonder why his dad ain't there, um, if he had a wife or girlfriend, you know, she has to wonder why he was doing this if she didn't know, um, same thing with aunts, uncles, grandparents, you know, they all have to wonder why he had to do this and not just ask for help if he needed money. Um, so I want to give my shout out to all of them. Um, hope you're all, all okay. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you like my videos, uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think about this video. Thank you for watching.